Hi Lyric Services, Trisha Warner here with your Wednesday workout. Uh, so for equipment today, um, we are going to be using a foam roller if you have it. If you don't, I'm gonna have you pause the video and go get your biggest, fluffiest beach towel because we're gonna use that instead. Um, if you have other variations of foam rollers, you can use this for one of them, but not the other. So if you only have the shorty, go get a towel. Um, you can use the half foam roller for, for everything. So if you have that, that works well too. Okay. Um, and then for other equipment, if you have a band, you can use a stretchy band or just a yoga strap would also work just fine. Um, weights, if they're handy, just one pound would work. And then if your hamstrings are a little tight, you're going to need the yoga blocks or something to sit on like this. Um, I just want to remind everybody to um, take this time to kind of explore what you need inside of your body. So um, I'm very happy that you're joining me and doing these workouts. And I designed them um, with some flexibility. So, you know, if you feel like you really need to stretch today, then maybe pause and hold that stretch a little longer. And, and I can move on and you can catch up with me. Or if you feel like you need to push one of the exercises for um, some more repetitions, you can go ahead and do that as well. This time is for you and I'm happy to provide the exercises, but there is some um, room for modification for sure. Uh, if there's anything going on with your body, really um, specifically injury related, then please refrain from anything that would cause you any pain or discomfort, even if you anticipate that it may. Please don't do it. Shoot me an email, trishafinch at hotmail.com. Let me know what's going on and I will help you um, select the best modification for you. Okay, so um, so that being said, if you have any back pain at all, disc related, where flexion bothers your symptoms, bending forward, um, you're not going to want to do the first exercises on the foam roller and you will want to avoid flexion throughout this workout. Okay, so we are going to start with the towel roll um, rolled up lengthwise. So I'm going to do it with you because you want to make sure it's long enough for your um, entire spine to be supported. So it needs to be able to reach your tailbone to the back of your head. So this is barely long enough for me. But you want it as round and fluffy as possible if you want a big stretch. If you're a little leery of it, you can make it a little thinner. So hopefully that's long enough for me. Um, I'm gonna do it with the towel roll, assuming that most of you don't have foam rollers at home, but if you do, feel free to use those as well. All right, so we're gonna start sitting down on the end of the foam roller. Sit right down on it with your tailbone, and then lower yourself all the way over. Yay, it's long enough. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is comfy. All right, I usually do this with the foam roller, but the towel's kind of a nice little change. Um, all right, so get it right in the middle of your body, right on your spine. It's nice and soft. Your head is supported. Your tailbone is supported. Your arms are relaxed. Your hands are going to turn open, and I want you to try to let your shoulders rest with the weight of gravity towards the floor, and just let this open up here and breathe. Take a few nice deep breaths. Couple more. And last breath here. Good. If you want to do the light weights, it will just intensify your stretch a little. Otherwise, you don't need them. You're going to lift one arm up overhead, thumb pointing back towards the top of your head. So you're leading with your thumb. You're going to bring your arm up and overhead for a nice stretch. And then as it comes back, you're going to switch and bring the other arm up overhead. And we're just going to keep alternating. Maintaining your body as still as you can on the roll. That will um, activate the deep core stabilizing muscles, the very, very tiny muscles that go between your vertebrae called the multifidi. And uh, you don't feel those working, but they have to work or you would fall off of this. <laughs> you don't get the same sensory feedback from those small stabilizing muscles that you do from like your biceps or your quadriceps. Um, so it's not quite as satisfying, I think, but they're really, really important to work. Arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing each other, with or without weight, your choice. Open your arms out to the side, keeping the elbows long, and then bring them back up. They may not hit the floor, and that's okay. 
Just observe where your arms are. It's your body. See where it goes, where it doesn't, where it feels tight and what's easy. Just really opening the chest after so much of our daily activities keeps us in a forward shoulder and arm position. Let's do three more. I'm wobbling. Come on, Trish, keep it still. There we go, good. And then relax your arms down. We're gonna get the legs in here a little bit. So we're gonna come into some femur arcs. Arms are down by the, your side. You're gonna lift one leg up to tabletop. And you're going to lift the other leg onto tabletop. Try to balance here, you can use your hands. One leg is gonna come down towards the floor and then bring it back up. Make sure the hip is moving, not the knee. The knee is frozen at 90 degrees. We are tipping the foot down, barely touching the floor and then bringing it up, only moving from the hip. Three more, one. Also, I should mention, your back is not moving, your back is still and in neutral. Other leg, same thing, tip it down, barely touch the mat, bring it back up. It's like you're dipping your toe in a really cold ocean and you're like ooh, taking it out kind of quickly because it's so cold. <laughs> Three more, one. Two and three. Good. Float one leg down and then the other leg down. So reposition yourself as you need to to make sure that you're nice and comfortable. And then we're going to cross our arms in front of our body, making an X, and then open them out wide into a Y. If your props are in the way, move them. <laughs> X and Y. X and Y. Maybe alternate which arm goes in front on your stomach. The last one. Good, arms down by your side. We're gonna open them. <laughs> Everything's in my way today. All right, open your arms out to the side into a snow angel all the way up and all the way down. The further you let your arms go down towards the floor, the more aggressive the stretch. So you pick which plane of motion is right for your body. This feels good for me. Last one. And then all the way down. Great. We're gonna roll off. And we're actually gonna modify our little towel roll now. So you're gonna take that and fold it in half again. Uh, if you are using the foam roller, you would just use it this way, horizontal. You could also use the half foam roller this way, or you can actually use a ball if you wanted to use the ball for this one. So I'm gonna use the towel again, because I figure that's what most of you have. Put it right, right in your mid back, right where a woman's bra strap would be. And then you're gonna lay that mid scapula area right over the towel roll. Hands are gonna cradle the weight of your head you're gonna allow yourself to arch up and over this towel. Feel a nice stretch. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you arc up and over. And exhale to lift. Inhale and exhale. We have three more. Really thinking about gliding your rib cage down towards your pelvis so that you're really engaging the um, rectus abdominis here and then relax back down. Let the weight of your head relax in your hands. Let your back arch up and over the towel and feel a nice stretch through your back. Again, you can grade how far down you go and feel a nice gentle stretch. And breathe. If your head's on the floor, then you probably have some good mobility. And just feel a good stretch here. And breathe. <sighs> Open up that chest. And then exhale, last chest lift, come back up. Wiggle yourself up and over it a little bit more. So it's gonna be kind of in your low back, that arch of your low back. Make sure my towel stays up here. All right, and then we're gonna cross one leg, let's cross the right leg over the left. Hands are behind your head. Yes, your abs are working just to hold you in this position. You're gonna rotate towards the left, bringing your right foot down towards the floor. Keep, and that's rotations only coming below the belly button. Keep the upper body straight and then come back and do that again. Rotate the lower body, nice stretch through the whole hip and bring it back, switch legs. 
and you're getting definitely an isometric work of your abdominal wall. Rotate um, to the right and bring it back up. And one more here and bring it back up. Those are hard. All right, let's come on up to sitting and get your towel roll out of the way because now we're gonna come to some light stretches. So you can either use um, a stretchy band or you can use a yoga strap. The yoga strap, you're just gonna slide your hands down a little further because it won't go with you. All right, we're gonna lay down flat in our backs, which should feel good after that work, that nice stretching. Uh, if your hamstrings are a little tight, I would suggest you bend the, the leg that's on the mat. And then we're gonna straighten this leg up and down, and straighten it up and down, and lift it. Feel the lengthening through the back of the calf and the back of the thigh. And you got two more, lift it up and down, lift it up and hold. Stretch the whole leg down to the floor and then float the whole leg back up straight. And down and up and down and up. And four, three, two, and one. Hold it up. Bring the straps in the same hand as your leg, and you're gonna bring your leg out to the side until you feel a nice stretch through the whole inner thigh and pelvis. Feel a nice stretch in there, probably in the hamstring too. And then bring the leg back up to the ceiling. You're gonna put the strap in your other opposite hand, draw the leg across your body and feel a nice stretch down the outside of the leg. Good, and then bring that back down. Take the foot out of the strap and let's do our footwork here. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex, last one, because we're coming into circles, circles with the ankle. We don't often move our ankle joint in this direction, but it goes <laughs> this direction, or at least it should, and switch the direction. Three, four, five. Take that leg down, switch to the other side. Same thing, foot goes in the middle. If you're using a non-stretchy strap, then your arms just go with it, that's all, just like this. Stretch it up, bring it down. And to intensify the stretch, you're gonna stretch the other leg out. And two more, one, and two, hold it up. The whole leg goes down, the whole leg goes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, eight. Put the strap in the same hand as the leg you're stretching and bring it out. You want to think about not just letting your leg fall to the floor, but also bring it up to your head. So you're getting a nice stretch through the back of the leg and the inner groin. And bring it back up to the ceiling. Put the straps in the opposite hand of the leg. And now really concentrating on not letting that hip lift up, lift up off the floor. You're drawing your leg across your body and feeling a nice stretch through the whole outside of the leg here. And then lift that back up. Take the band off your foot. Let's do our footwork. Point and flex and point and flex, point and flex, point, flex. Now circle one, two, three, four, five. Other way, one, two, three, four, five. Great, Put that knee. bend that knee. Grab it with both hands. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor and hold yourself up here. You're gonna lift the opposite leg up to not quite 45 degrees. Let's go like 25, 30. Your foot should be almost flat to the ceiling. And then we're gonna switch our legs. Let's switch them. One, two, breathing out as you switch. Go three and four and five and six and seven and eight, nine, last one, 10 and hold it. Hands behind the head. Twist your upper body towards that knee. And then we're gonna twist one, two, breathing out, and four, five. Strengthen these obliques. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, come all the way down. Separate your feet about the width of the mat. Arms are gonna come out to a T. 
Let your knees go all the way over to one side and feel the nice stretch of opening up through the hip there. And breathe. And bring your knees back up and going over to the other side. And coming back up. All right, I'm gonna put my towel down because I just realized I'm black on black. I wanna make sure you can see me. That might help. Okay, and then we're gonna lay on our stomachs and rest your, actually let's come up on our elbows. Let's get some spine extension. We already loosened that up, so we're right here. Nice and tall through our spine. You're gonna bend one leg up two times. Bend it up one, two, straighten it out, lift it up, lower it down. Other leg, bend one, two, straighten, lift and lower. Bend one, two, straighten, lift and lower. Bend one, two, straighten, lift and lower. One, two, lift, lower, one, two, lift, lower. Good. Nice activation of the hamstrings and a good hip flexor opener. Last one. Okay, come on back down. You're going to bring your arms down by your side. Palms are facing the floor. You're going to lift your head and chest up off the floor. So we're coming back into that same extension you just were there, but now you have to use your muscles to hold your chest up. Your arms aren't there to help you. Your arms are gonna work here. We're gonna pump them. Go one, two, three, four. We're doing 50. Seven, eight, nine, 10, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Great. Hands under your shoulders, push up into an all fours position. So hands are right under your shoulders, knees are right under your hips. And we're gonna do a little bit of alternating lift and hold. So you're gonna lift your right arm and left leg and hold it. 10 count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Put it down. Switch to the other side. Go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Put it down. Again. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it down and switch and hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hands down. Tuck your toes under. If that's a little bit of a stretch, hold it here for a few seconds. Let that loosen up a little bit. If that feels good or when it, when it feels good, you're gonna press up into an inverted V position, also known as downward dog. Press your hips up to the ceiling. Heels are reaching down towards the floor. Arms are pressing the floor away from you. You're lifting your tailbone really high and drawing your rib cage down towards your thigh bones. And we're just gonna alternate the heel prancing a little bit. So one knee bends, the other heel draws down to the floor. And then we're gonna switch, switch, switch. And you could take your time with this or go a little faster. We're just working on loosening up that Achilles tendon. And last one, good. Bring your knees back down towards the floor. We're coming to thread the needle. So take your right hand and you're gonna you're gonna draw it under the tunnel that your left arm and left leg is making, and you're gonna draw your right shoulder all the way down to the floor. Feel a nice stretch through your shoulder blade and your back. Now press into your left hand, reaching all the way up, twisting open to the right, and reaching the right arm up to the ceiling. Beautiful, put that hand back down. Switch to the left, it goes under. Shoulder blade reaches towards the floor. Tailbone lifts away. Feel the stretch. Press into the right arm, lift the left arm up, untwist and hold. Good, smile. <laughs> and then right arm again comes under. And press it out and lift and twist. And put it down. Same thing on the left side, one last time. And draw it all the way up. Fantastic. Okay. We are coming into high kneeling. 
So we're gonna come into a little side plank work here. So first get yourself situated in a high kneeling position, and then we're gonna come into a side plank from here. So let's start on the right side. You're gonna bring that leg up, and I just want you to kind of bend into it a little bit and feel the stretch as you come in and out. On this next one, we're gonna make it interesting. You're gonna press off that front foot, find the floor with your opposite hand, lift the leg up to the height of the hip. This arm lifts up. We're gonna lower and lift two, eight times, three, four, pull those abs in, five, six, seven, eight, and push off that arm, come back to kneeling. And then you're gonna switch and do the same thing on the other side. So here we are like this, and we're gonna go into it and out of it. Two, three, four, and five. Push off that foot, find the floor with your hand, lift the leg up to the height of the leg, and going down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Push off the arm, come back up to kneeling tall. Great. We're gonna come into a little bit of a thigh stretch exercise. We're gonna be hinging. So holding onto your weights or no weights at all, it's your choice. First, let's get good alignment. Draw your ribcage over your pelvis. Keep your pelvis balanced over your knees. Leaning back from your knees and then coming forward. That's it. Let's just do five regular, then we're gonna add the arm work. Three, four, last one, we're gonna hold it. Hold five, arms lift, bicep curl, one, two, I know those thighs are working, mine are two, four, and five, and then come all the way back up. If your knees bother you on this, definitely pat them up a little bit more. And then we're just gonna do a lateral lift with the weights, lift them up, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, palms up, bend the elbows in, one, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me. You don't have to turn. 10. Go ahead and lower yourself down like you're sitting on your heels. And then as you come up, you're reaching the weights up overhead. One, two, three, four. Again, if this bothers your knees, don't do it. Five, six, seven, eight. Get your heart rate up a little with this one. Nine, at least mine. It's kind of warm in here. 10. All right, that's enough of those. So now for the roll down, you're gonna sit with your legs out straight in front of you. And you're gonna loop the band or strap. And if you don't have a yoga strap, you can certainly use a long belt or a piece of clothesline or something, rope. Sitting up nice and tall. The band works nice because it stretches, but believe me, um, you can use the strap as well. Or nothing, which is the hardest uh, progression of the exercise. Holding on nice and tight. You can bend your knees if you need to, absolutely, but make sure you're sitting up nice and tall in those sits bones. Inhale to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, you're gonna tuck your tailbone under and use your hands to lower yourself down to the mat one vertebrae at a time, all the way to flat. Inhale in this position. As you exhale, you're gonna nod your head. Use your abs to pull your back up one vertebrae at a time all the way up to sitting nice and tall. And again, exhale, come down. Nice and flat, inhale. Ooh, embrace the shake. I just felt a good quiver in my abdominals and my deep abdominal muscles rolling down. We got two more. You also don't have to go down all the way. That makes it harder. So the, the other way is to just come down as far as you feel comfortable and then come back up. Actually, let's do one more. 
and all the way back up. You can put the band down, bring the bottoms of your feet together, and you're gonna just come into a little butterfly stretch. So as best you can, you may need something under your knees. If you have yoga blocks or pillows, you can kind of support and make it a little bit more restorative. Take the weight off the stretch and feel how that is with your body. Remember, this time is for you. So you get out of it what you put into it and you get out of it whatever your intention is. So if your intention is to stretch, then lose the blocks. If it's to, you know, just find a little balance and alignment, then maybe use the blocks. See what you need. Spine stretch. So you may need the blocks for this as well. So if you can't sit with up on your sits bones with your legs straight, then you need to sit up on an elevated surface. So grab some old encyclopedias or some telephone books if anybody has those kicking around anymore. We don't. <laughs> arms out in front, arms are straight. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, we're coming into spine stretch. So you're going to start by nodding your head a little bit, then rounding your back and reaching your arms up over the feet, but keeping your stomach away from your thighs. So as if I had a belt around your waist this way and was pulling you this way as you go forward. So we got these oppositional forces going and then come all the way back up nice and tall. And again, exhale, reach, pull the stomach in, reach it back. Nice, we're going for a nice flexed spine here as long as there's no back problems and then all the way back up. And last one, exhale, reach. And then coming all the way back up. Great, come on up to standing. We're gonna do a little nerve flossing here. So I'm gonna have you put your hands together like this. And then you're going to extend, you don't have to stand with your feet wide like this, I just wanna make sure you can see me. Reach your arms out, bring them out to the side, bring them back together, and draw them back in. So it looks like this. And again, you don't have to do this with your feet. Just try to get in the frame. <laughs> open, and fingers stay open and long. If you feel a little tension, a little pull, a little numbness, that's okay. Don't push it, but do it. Glide it through. This is really good for decreasing your risk of carpal tunnel or treating carpal tunnel if that's something you've had, a little hand numbness. And relax, good. All right, now we're gonna come into a little bit of work for our soleus. So we have two calf muscles. You have your soleus and your um, gastrocnemius. So, or gastrox, right? So the soleus works best when your knee is flat. So we're gonna start with that one in a wide stance. It's important to work both. So we're in a wide turned out stance. Your knees are going out over your second toe. You're centered and balanced. Your legs are active. You can do whatever you want with your hands, but you're gonna lift your heels up and then place them down with control. Two, three, four, Five, six, whoa, seven. If you lose your balance like I just did, just come back to it. We're human, you know? Eight, nine, and 10. Those are hard for me. And I'm getting better at them. Now let's work the gastrocnemia. So feet are together, close together, let's do. And these are the muscles that kind of make those two little hearts, those little on the back of the calf. It's one heart, I guess, but two sides to it. And three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, feel it, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. We're gonna finish with some side bending. Oh good, I'm gonna be right on time today. All right, so I'm gonna show you actually in kneeling, but you can stay standing. Arms are gonna be up overhead and you're gonna imagine that you're holding a heavy, uh, I don't know, medicine ball, um, something heavy overhead, a kettlebell or something. But I want you to imagine it. Keep the weight even on your feet. You're gonna tip over to the side. Oh, it's heavy. Imagine it's heavy, now pull it back. Did you feel those muscles turn on with the imagery? Go over to the other side. It's heavy, it's pulling me over. No, it's not, I'm pulling it back. Back to center, over to the other way. We're gonna do three times each side, pull it back. 
Really think about the muscles down the opposite side of your body, contracting to lift that weight up. One more time each side and pull it up. Last one, it's amazing what imagery can do to an exercise. That's it guys, you did it. 30 minutes, you hit it all. And I hope you revisit this um, video again this week. Take care, bye-bye.